Hey y'all, welcome back to Life with Tam. Oops, sorry, I just pressed a button. But um, today I just wanted to make a quick video real quick. And it's just about being hidden. You know, um, and you may not understand exactly what that means, but um, it's about being hidden, allowing God to keep you um, hidden from the world. Yes, of course, um, keeping you safe and stuff, but whenever I say, you know, that God has or is keeping me hidden, you know, it comes with God protecting me from being hurt. So, you know, maybe you feel like you're alone or you don't have friends or you don't fit in with people or maybe like you're in high school or college and or just like in life in general and you feel like you're just going with emotions, you know, you really don't have like a lot of, you know, people to connect with and stuff or maybe you feel like a floater, you know, like I did in high school and middle school, like I moved a lot. So it was kind of difficult for me to create, you know, relationships. So I feel like I was definitely a floater. And from being a floater, from being, you know, feeling like I'm alone and I'm different, you know, that just, you know, I felt like really bad. I'm like, is it me, God? You know, am I just this weird person and all that stuff? Um, but with being in college and, you know, connecting with certain types of people, God has just showed me that. He's like, Tam, I'm keeping you hidden for a reason. You know, I'm keeping you hidden because... The calling I have over your life, I can't allow you to fall into anything or to hang out with just anyone and pick up their habits, you know, um, and I feel like a lot of times, you know, God, you know, God calls, has his calling on all of us, you know, a specific calling and we get into the wrong crowd. We start doing things that we're not supposed to. And that really ruins us. It really messes up the, the plan that God has for us and the plan that God, um, or the plan that we can live out and, um, you know, and prosper from, but, you know, for me, and maybe even for you, you know, maybe you're in the season where you feel like you're not connected with anyone or you feel like, you know, God, why am I, why am I single? Why do I keep having, you know, why isn't anyone pursuing me and all this stuff? But God's just like, I'm, I'm keeping you hidden for a reason. I have someone special for you that, that I need you to be patient, patient. I need you to allow me to write your love story. Because if you go ahead and write your love story and, and pursue so-and-so and blase, blase, you're not, you're not going to reap what I have for you. You're not going to live out the life that I want you to live. You know, and I'm, and, and I feel like God, his plans for us is plan A. But if we are disobedient or if we run ahead of God, we may settle you know, we do that a lot. We may settle, um, you know, for a plan B life or a plan C and all that stuff. And yes, you know, with us living plan B and plan C and plan Z, whatever, God will continue to bless us because we are his kids. We're his children. But God wants us to live out plan A. And we can only live out plan A if, if, if we are obedient and if we take instructions from God. Um, I'm just like really big on that, honestly, like I want to be obedient to God and I want to, and I want to, and I want to live the life that God has for me. But, you know, re going back, um, to being kidding, you know, I feel like a lot of times we, you know, we feel discouraged because we are in this hidden season where we are alone. We feel like I don't, we don't have people, you know, maybe you moved, maybe you got a new job, or maybe you're just like, you had to cut it, you know, all your friends dropped and your boyfriend, girlfriend broke up with you, whatever. But a lot of times God has to put us in this um, position where we are by ourselves. So we can, you know, realize that God is amazing. God it will provide for you. God... Um, oh, sorry. That's my old teacher. Oh, well, I haven't seen her since like sophomore year, but, um, that God is, God is putting us in a season where we're by ourselves. And for me, um, you know, 
I've experienced multiple seasons where I've been by myself, like when I transferred and I fell alone and didn't have anyone. But and but in that season God showed me his love. He showed me my strength. He showed me whenever I'm weak to depend on him. So I just encourage you don't get weary in the season that you're in. Do not get weary if you're in this alone season where, you, yes, you feel alone. You feel like you don't have anyone. You you just feel like you're not, you know, you're not doing what everyone else is doing. Maybe they're partying, smoking, drinking, blah, 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 all this stuff or dating all these people. Maybe you feel that way. But I encourage you to seek God. Seek his seek his blessing seek his his love seek seek him because that's where you can find your strength at find what you're good at you know so you don't have to depend on little romeo to make you happy or make you happy you know for a little bit and you know, all this stuff but i just want to say that being in this hidden season is beautiful. It's so beautiful. You may not have all the friends in the world. You may not have all the people that, you know, around you all the time or, but this is where we, we seek God because he can show us what true happiness is. He can fill our hearts where we're not lonely, where we're not sad because we feel like we don't have people or, and all this stuff. Yeah, so that's just something that was on my heart to so just encourage you that if you are in the season of being alone or even single or, you know, the fact that God is is keeping you hidden for something special, maybe that special person, maybe that special job or that special house and maybe he's just keeping you hidden. Seek God for his peace, for his kindness, for his wisdom and he would give it to you, I promise so that's just something that um that's just on my heart um you know I've, I've dealt with it and I just wanted to encourage you all not to give up um in the season that you're in um yeah so if you liked it hope you um just you know comment subscribe um so yeah so that was another um short little inspiration from a life with Tam so um I will hopefully I can keep this going um a lot you know we make time for what is important. So I hope you have a great day and I just pray for the best. All right. Bye y'all.